Hello students, this is Mrs. Schmidt and I'm going to show you how to go about making the crater-like landscape art. And you can follow my steps um, and when you need to pause the video to finish one of the steps, then you can do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I put a little dot here just to kind of um, help myself see and remember where halfway um, up is on my paper just as a reference point. Then I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw trees in the lower left corner. Um, now when you draw your trees it's kind of like drawing Christmas trees if you have ever done that um, or any kind of um, conifer tree. So I'm going to do the first tree right there in the um, corner on the left side. And then I'm going to go a little higher and draw my next tree. And don't worry if these are not perfect. They won't look exactly like mine, but you're just sort of drawing sideways triangles um, up and down. And if they don't look perfect, that actually sometimes looks better. It looks more realistic. Okay, so there's two trees. Um, my next tree I'm going to draw is my tree that's a little bit lower. So I'm going to go down about three branches and I'm going to draw another tree. And remember, you're just drawing these sort of sideways triangles. And don't worry if they're not perfect. And this one goes into this branch here, but I'm just going to go under there and, and draw where I think it might be. Okay, so there's my third tree. Um, my next tree, I'm going to go back up here, and I'm going to draw it behind these two trees. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to go down until I hit this tree. Um, and you could even imagine that it might look something like that. Okay, the last trees I'm going to draw are not full trees. I'm going to draw a small tree here and then just the tops of trees down at the bottom. So you just draw some trees. And if you run into the other tree, that's okay. Just imagine where things would be going. And you're just going to draw down like that. The rest is just the tops of trees. So you can just draw almost just um, like... The two sides of a triangle and just bring pieces up and just draw some more like that and just do um, those just to fill in um, this area here because in the picture of Crater Lake it looks like there are just a lot of trees and then they slowly go downhill so to speak kind of going downhill as you're looking at that picture. So you're just gonna keep drawing these triangles like that. Okay, and then over here, you are going to draw another tree on the corner on the right, like that. And then another tree coming off of that one. And you're just gonna fill in just this area here with just those triangles just so that we can see that this is all green and this is around Crater Lake. Okay, so those are the trees. And now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to draw the island um, that is in the middle of Crater Lake. So I'm just going to draw and go up and go around and just sort of draw what that island looks like. So that's the island. And it's just about at your halfway mark is where you start and then you just go up and around. Okay, right? That's where that little dot is for that halfway mark. It starts about right there. When you're done with that, you're gonna draw um, the mountains that go around Crater Lake, but we're gonna draw the bottom. Um, we're gonna do this line that lines the lake first like that because that's going to give us a reference point for where our mountains are going to be. When I'm done doing that, then I'm going to take this and I'm going to start drawing the, the mountains that go around. It's not really a mountain, actually. This was a volcano that caved in on itself, so it's actually just the rim of the volcano. So you just draw it like that. And then you're just going to draw some clouds. Clouds are usually, you know, fluffy looking and round and they're not like perfectly round they have variation in their shape so you can just draw them in any way that you'd like okay so that's the drawing part 
when you're done with that, um, or if you want to pause now and finish yours if you're not done, um, you can do that. Um, I'm going to erase this little dot here since I don't really need that. Um, oh, and there's one thing I forgot to uh, tell you we should draw. We should draw a few lines going down because this was a volcano that um, sort of caved in on itself. And a lot of the rocks are, are falling downhill off of the sides of the, these areas. So we're just going to draw some lines like that. Okay. The next step is to take a, a black marker or even a black crayon. I'm gonna go ahead and use a Sharpie because that's what I have. And you're gonna outline everything in black Sharpie. And do this carefully because you want to, um, you, you don't really wanna have any pencil showing. You could go back and erase any pencil marks that are showing and that's fine to do. I'll probably do that. But you wanna just take your time and you want to just follow all of your pencil marks with a black Sharpie because it's going to really make your picture, your art pop out when you color it in. And it will also, whoops, see I was off a little there? That's okay. It'll really um, help you to stay, you know, in the right spot with your coloring too when you color this. And again, it's okay if you don't go right over all of the pencil, that's fine. Um, see, I'm not doing that here, so, but that's okay, because I can go over that with an eraser and erase those pencil marks, and I'll show you what that looks like. Oh, that one very well. Okay, you can see lots of pencil mark. Now, if I color that in, it may not show, but if you want to go back with your pencil and just gently, now don't do it hard because you might tear your paper, but you can just gently erase over the marker. If you're doing this in crayon, it may not erase as easily. You might have to go very specifically to those spots. Um, so if you do have a marker, you can do it pretty quickly. Now we are ready to color. Um, now, when you are doing the coloring of the trees, I would use a, um, a dark green if you have it. If you don't, that's okay too. Um, but just start coloring in the trees. Um, and the, the direction that your marks go will show us, it would almost give it a texture-like look. So um, try to be in the direction that you want that texture, like where the lines are going, what it might you know be naturally um, so I'm that's why I'm going you know out with these um, so you're gonna color your trees green and I'm I may not do all of these just because I I, um, I don't want you to watch too much longer but you're gonna color all of these and you can take like a blue green if you want to make these look a little bit darker in certain places or really get in there to give them a, a, a you know, some of those colors you see in the, a tree in a forest, some of those blue, green, deep colors, you can do that too. Um, so that's how you do your trees. I would take the island and I would do green because that's what it looks like in the picture, especially near the bottom. Um, and then I would also take some brown and, and do some spots with brown and then color it over with green to make it, you know, look realistic with how the island is can be brown um, in certain spots, okay? And don't go too fast because you don't wanna, um, you wanna try to keep a nice texture on here um, uh, or uh, lines that give it a texture look. You don't want it to, you know, go too fast. And then when you're done with that, you want to, I'm gonna just show you some parts of the, uh, the water um, you could even add, add more brown here. I might go in there and do that. 
Add some more brown, maybe on some of those spots that, just to fill it in, make it look you know more realistic. Okay, and I'm just using crayons, but if you have markers, the markers are great to use. Um, now, with the um, water, you can use blue, and I would just do a little bit of a lighter touch, and I would go back and forth this way, and um, just really nicely color that in. Be careful not to go too fast. You don't want to get your blue on your trees or on your um, island. And I would have finished all of these trees, but I'm, I'm not doing that now just because I'm trying to, to show you fairly quickly in this video. So this is one shade of blue, but then you can take another shade of blue because sometimes the water can look blue-green and you can take some areas and you can color that in with an additional color of blue and even like around the edges, sometimes the water looks darker um, and just make that look a little bit more um, realistic with the different shades of blue. Okay, so that's the water. You would color all of that in. Then there are the mountains. The mountains look very rocky, but they are also brown, gray. So I'm gonna take some gray and color in, but I'm also gonna go up and down near these lines here because that's what it looks like rock is falling. So I'm gonna go in here and do that. And I'm gonna do some gray outline up here just because I don't want to go into my sky I'm going to try to stay in the lines and then I'm going to go in with some darker brown hopefully that is the color that I have and you're going to color in just very carefully and I might even go down here and do some coloring in here and then I'm going to go in with my darker brown And I'm going to color in because rock is falling off of these sides of these down slopes here. So I'm going to go in and color that. And I might even take some black and color in some spots a little bit darker um, just to make it look a little bit more realistic and varied in color. So I need to find some black. Um, so let me find some black really quick. Um, I have to look for, and you guys can pause the video if you want to catch up, um, or you can just keep going. Um, I am looking for black, and I think I found one. Yep. So I might go in with this black and just make some spots look a little darker. Especially up near the top, it seems like they, it looks pretty black on some spots. Okay, so just go in, do some blending, maybe some blending into the brown and the gray. Now that looks, you know, much more realistic of the, how dark they look. Okay, and you want to do that in different spots. And then just go in and color in some more with um, some gray and some brown and finish coloring all of that in. Then you want to go to your clouds and you want to do, this is white and you can't really see it, but color it in anyway because when you go to color the um, sky with blue, it will help to, to, if you accidentally go into a cloud, it will help to um, keep it from getting too shaded with blue. So go ahead and color those in with white, and then you're gonna take your blue, and you're gonna gently, just a nice light color of blue around your clouds and the rest of your sky. So I'm gonna put a picture of my finished piece on the slide, and you'll see it. Um, and then um, you can just finish your work as well. So that's it. I hope you have a lot of fun.